Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about the learning process, steps in learning process, the learning curve, types of learning curve, causes of learning plateau, overcoming strategies of learning plateau, characteristics and limitation of learning plateau, educational implications. The learning process. In 1958, Fagin stated that learning is a sequence of mental events or conditions that leading to the changes in the learning. The learning process involves motive or drive an attractive goal and the block to attainment that goal. I'm giving an example over here. A child is hungry. The drive is hunger here. He goes to the Almira when his mother has kept some sweet. He tries to open it but uh, latch is too high. He looks here and there, notices a chair pick it up and stand on it open the latch take the switch in this case the goal of obtaining the food is very clear now if he could have obtained the switch without any difficulty the activity would have ended without any new learning taking place but there is a block the latch is high this block creates in him tension he becomes uncomfortable this situation leads him to seek solution to the problem and he took a chair the learning has taken place in two Two ways. First one is he learned how to solve the problem. Second one is he learned a procedure that may be applicable to the similar problem. So this is called the learning process. Learning has four stages that are perceiving, deciding, acting and feedback. Perceiving is nothing but the inputs were often called as cues. Learner perceive, forget an idea he has to be done and how perceive information and experience. Like direct experience is attract conceptualization. Learner perceive perceive something new through different senses, direct experiences and that learner use cognitive ability to identify the new things and learn new things. Second one is deciding. Deciding is nothing but the processing in the brain, how learner put information in his or her brain. Deciding involves taking consideration to a matter, identifying a desired and results, determining the options to get to the end results and then selecting the most suitable options to achieve the desired goal. Third one is acting. The acting is nothing but the output and movement for learning something. Acting in learning is transformative. Acting helps learner to develop confidence, individuality, work in collaboration, completing the desired goal. Last one is feedback. Feedback may be internal or external. Feedback is given by the teacher. Ask learner to do more practice and overcome his or her weaknesses and develop an enhance their knowledge and skill and this cycle start again. So these were the four stages of learning process. There are eight steps for completing the learning process which are goal, readiness, situation, interaction, responses, results, reaction to thwarting and participation. Let's see one by one in detail. Very first one is goal. Everybody has a goal in his or her life. He or she does anything to reach at that goal because he or she feels satisfaction. So many desires is to be filled. Goal is the very first step in the process of learning. Second one is readiness. Learning occurs when an individual is physically and mentally ready for it. After setting goal, learner must be prepared for it. Readiness includes physical strength and mental preparation and experience of the past. A learner should be prepared for learning by love and affection, not by the operation. Third one is situation. It is the third step in the learning process. It provides the way of getting learning. If a situation does not allow to get goal, then he or she must change and use special behavior to get this situation. Fourth one is interaction. Learning enhances with the help of different activities. Interaction of the child is different from the adult. Every individual works according to his or her own interaction. Fifth one is responses. Individual adapt different ways to achieve his or her goals. After the interaction of situation, he or she tells the different ways on different aspects. Individual adopt a way according to the response or result of these tests. Results. Results confirm the interaction or rejects it. Learning depends on the satisfaction of the individual. He or she gets in his activities satisfaction or dissatisfaction.
action depend upon the result or conclusion seventh one is reaction or thwarting some results are not according to the goal and the individual fails to get his or her goal after failure he or she do evaluation and changes his behavior and ideas which provides new step to proceed further last one is participation it means in learning active sharing means active sharing or involvement of the student in the process of learning no effective learning without proper participation of students so these were the eight steps by which learning process complete let's move towards learning curve the achievement in learning in relation to time factor will be plotted to form a curve called learning curve the process of learning any motor skills to type to learn to play on a musical instrument so on are plotted they are a particular shape the achievement improves fairly rapidly in the early stages it is termed as initial spurt in learning the curve steadily goes up a certain stage we find that the curve does not show any progress for some time instead of going up the curve is almost horizontal there is no progress at all this part of the curve is technically known as the plateau but after some time if the learning process has been going on the curve again rise up showing further improvement this is the secondary spurt in learning finally there is a limit for the learning curve and it is not possible for any individual to push the curve higher this limit is set by the total physiological and psychological condition of the organism the term learning curve firstly used by Baryan and Hatter in 1909 psychologist Arthur Bill proposed a more detailed description of learning curve and its types in 1934 learning curve shows the rate of progress or improvement in learning a learning curve is a graphical representation which is drawn to represent the progress of learning of an individual in a given time learning curve is a graphical representation of how learning takes place in a particular situation the achievement in learning in relation to time factor will be plotted to form a curve called learning curve the process of learning any motor skills to type to learn to play on a musical instrument and so on are plotted they take a particular shape the achievement improve fairly rapidly in the early stages it is termed as initial spurt in learning this curve steadily goes up at a certain stage we find that the curve does not show any progress for some time instead of going up the curve is almost horizontal there is no progress at all this part of the curve is technically known as plateau but after some time if the learning process has been going on the curve again rise up showing further improvement this is secondary spurt in learning finally there is a limit for the learning curve and it is not possible for any individual to push the curve higher this limit is set by the total physiological and psychological condition of the organism depending upon the nature of the material and nature of learner involvement curves form differently in their shape there are four types of learning curve straight line curve negatively accelerated learning curve or convex learning curve positively accelerated learning curve or concave learning curve combinations of convex and concave curve first one is straight line curve a uniform rate of progress in learning is represented by a straight line curve this type of curve is seldom found as it shows constant rate of improvement at in terms of material learned correctly or in terms of reduction of errors per trial second one is negatively accelerated curve or concave curve if the rate of progress is very high at the beginning then slow down gradually it is called negatively accelerated learning curve it depicts rapid initial improvement when the task is very simple or when the learner has previous practice and, and slows down with the time if the learner loses interest in learning due to its simple nature next one is positively accelerated curve or concave curve if the rate of progress is very slow at the beginning it increases it is called positively accelerated learning curve if the task is new or difficult the curve at the beginning is slow but increases with time leading towards the mastery of a material or content the challenging task involves the learner and makes him struggle and thus increases learner's enthusiasm last one is the learning plateau or plateau in learning it is a low flat horizontal stretch in learning curve which represented a stationary stages where apparently no progress in learning is recorded plateau in learning represents p 
periods in learning process when no improvement occurs even with any number of plateau. Let's see the causes of learning plateau. Poor or faulty method of working or learning, physical or mental fatigue, complex part of the task if dealt with, loss of interest in learning the task, lack of motivation, lack of attention or distraction, lack of interest, old habits of dealing if, if they are in conflict with new habits of dealing with the task, old habits of dealing if they are in conflict with the new habits of dealing with the task, transition from a lower level of performance to a higher level of performance, inability to pick up new methods of learning in place of the old methods, physical or mental illness, poor or unfavorable working environment, boredom in the task at hand, learner satisfaction with moderate achievement, inadequate pacing or too big gaps between the task, increased difficulty of related tasks. So these are the causes of learning plateau. Let's see the overcoming strategies of learning plan. Bad habits such as inadequate study, too large gaps between the learning traits are to be eliminated consciously. Awareness of a purpose of learning and, and clear goals motivate the learners. Arrangement of learning material according to the increasing level of difficulty by teacher facilitates learning. Adapting suitable method of teaching, different topics either easy or difficult keeps up interest of learner. Minimizing extreme Exterior disturbances to the possible extent. Provide incentives for the stages of achievement. Praise the student for their hard work. People can be encouraged to clarify their doubts, discuss the difficult parts and review in different ways. Inviting orally to others or by himself or herself. So these are the overcoming strategies of learning play too. Let's see the characteristic of learning curve. Curves of learning may also be of such type which are concave in form and show slow initial progress. Such curves not as common as the convex type are quite often found. The slow initial improvement is often on account of the fact that the learner finds difficulty in having a general pattern of performance and acquiring such responses which are helpful in the performing of the task. This means learner faces difficulty in understanding the task and the response which it requires, thus his or her speed of learning slow down. Later on, this understanding drawns up on him or her and there is a steady progress. Such curves are those which represent the progress in learning, the contents of history, mathematics, etc. Such curves are positively accelerated. Another characteristic which may be noted in the learning curve is that it shows period of no progress at any point throughout its length these periods of no progress are known as platex of learning. In learning curve, sudden spurts of rapid learning also visible. This situation is visible everyday life. Often a person practices at the tennis court for quite long period and suddenly he learns how to serve best so that score a point and then proceed steadily towards further progress. These sudden spurts of rapid learning usually occur after the periods of no progress. In almost all the curves of learning, it may be noted that progress in learning is irregular. The curves are usually characterized by short time fluctuations. During learning, there may occur changes from day to day in the material which is being learned in the total environment and uh, in the individual who is learning. These changes affect the learner's progress. For example, if the learner is sick or bored or dejected, his or her learning will suffer. If the environment in which he or she is learning has distracting influence his learning will also suffer on all days in a week he is not in the same mood to learn and hence there occurs fluctuation in his learning the curves of learning shows that there reaches a limit beyond which no improvement is possible in certain tasks their limits of improvement are enforced upon the learner by his own nature or the type of task which he or she is performing. The teacher should be cautious that the child is not asked to show progress in learning beyond his or her capacity. For example, in the case of any individual, a limit in the speed in handwriting can be reached beyond which the figure will not be moved. It is useless for the teacher to force the child to learn beyond that limit. So these are the characteristics 
characteristics of learning curve let's see the limitation of learning curve all the curves have the property of exact quantitative expressions curve of improvement or acquisition of knowledge appreciation at extra are unreliable because of the determination of exact unit in such material is practically impossible for this reason we have no reliable curves for learning of languages history geography and ordinary school subject in general when if objective tests scales and other refined instrument of measuring knowledge should enable us to approximate the skill curves the result would be far from representative or typical another limitation from which learning curve suffer is that the composite curve which brings together the achievements of many individuals and which are so frequently used in experimental studies of motivation transfer etc this regards individual learning and other differences peculiar to the situation in which learning takes place so these are some limitations of learning curve let's move towards the educational implication education of learning curve learning curves are of quite a great significant in providing proper guidance in learning their utility can be as follows the curves are useful as rough generalization of the rate of progress it may be remembered they do not provide specific information about any learning process but for a teacher their utility is great because uh, their help he or she is able to locate the rate of progress as well as he or she can notice the regularity or irregular priority of progress and the relation of progress to increasing difficulty of the material the teacher gets the information of plateau formation can be avoided by proper method of work correct organization of learning material and providing uh, correct incentives it is particularly necessary in the early stages of learning to detect errors which if a lot to persist may become difficult to break and may impact progress these curves of learning are helpful in detecting some in such errors whenever there is a plateau formation the teacher can make appraisal of the method of learning of the child can improve matters learning curves gives an idea about the performance and progress of learner play to makes the teacher alert about their role particularly to suit the situation learners can know where how they are in their rate of learning and understand why they are fast or slow and uh, can thereby help themselves and they can be cautious about the play to teacher can build up or revise learning environment or avoid disturbances or check student this attention and motivate the students for learning so these are the educational implication of learning curve so in this way today we learned about the learning process stages of learning process which are perceiving deciding acting and feedback eight steps of learning process that are goal readiness situation interaction responses result reaction to thwarting and participation and the learning curve different types of learning curves causes of learning plateau overcoming strategies of learning plateau characteristics and limitation of learning plateau and educational implication of learning plateau so thank you one and all